up everyone it's killer look here if you don't know me my name is Katie and I'm here to introduce to you a grungy look featuring the lime crime Venus palette ah! if y'all want to know how I got this grungy messy email look please keep watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe do yourself a favor thank you guys let's get to it all right, getting started, we're gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to use as our base, as always, for our eyes. And then going over it with our True Match Powder. I'm in shade Light Ivory, and I'm just gonna set all of that concealer so nothing ends up creasing, just making a clean, blank canvas. Using a rounded crease brush from Sephora and the Super Beauty Electric Slide, I'm gonna use that as a transition color. Dipping into Venus Palette, the star of the show, we're going to be using the Morphe, yes, Morphe M433 and dipping into Creation. Starting out at the outer corner and then just kind of blending into our transition. I love using yellow as a transition for orangey, reddish, rusty shades. It just makes it look cooler. It makes it just look that much more grungier. If that's the kind of look you're going for, that's how you do it. It blends better than like a basic brown, guys. The yellow is what I'm all about. And we're just gonna keep blending using a clean blending brush, a large fluffy one to just blend out all those edges. Then using the Morphe 506 brush, I'm dipping into Creation and Muse to deepen my crease. It's a great, brush for crease work. It's pointed, it's small. I love it. Using that same 506 brush from Morphe and dipping into Creation, really just rolling it in Creation, dipping it into Muse to work with my crease to kind of blend it out, make the transition look really cool, make it look really diffused, going back with a clean fluffy brush, cleaning up the edges. Then using the Tarte Bronze Liner in a good like regular old shading brush, clumping it out to the back of my hand. This is so the next shade that I use, Icon from Lime Crime, can stand out. It won't look transparent, it'll show the true color because we want it kind of starting out dark and smoldering using a firm shader brush from Sigma. Then to blend all of that together, I'm going to use the Morphe 506 brush and dip into Icon and Muse and then work in my crease so everything can look blended and not a giant dark spot to a light spot. You want it to all look together. And then going in with the M433 from Morphe, dipping into Creation, a little bit of Muse. I'm working with the crease going from large to small again. Fluffy brush to medium brush to small, tiny, little detail brush. To clean up the edges with a wipe, I'm going to be using Dr. Brandt's Pores No More Primer, just patting it on my face, and then using my favorite foundation, duh, Born This Way by Too Faced, I'm in the shade Nude, and dotting that all over my face, so I can start to, oh, and down my neck, and then use a Face Expert Brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to just buff that onto my skin, and then go over it with a damp beauty blender to make sure everything looks nice, Seamless and flawless. Duh. Chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. And using Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer, I'm in Fair Neutral. Love it. I'm going to put this under my eyes, my nose, my forehead and chin, and using my tiny little detail brush with the NYX Matte Spray, I'm going to just buff this in and blend it into my foundation to give us a nice highlighted, delicious, dewy, gorgeous, flawless face. And using my damp beauty blender to make sure it's all blended and picking up any extra product that I may have missed. Then with my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder, I'm going to set that concealer with the damp beauty blender just so I can lock that concealer in place without any creasing, and then I'm going to bake on top of that. 
Working with the bottom eyes, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Twice Baked Eyeliner, and then I'm gonna go in with Perversion. You can skip this step and just do your waterline with the Twice Baked. Um, it got in my eyes and it hurt. I'm going to use a tiny de detailing brush from Morphe, the E37, and dip into Icon to kind of just smudge it out and start working with it. And then I'm gonna go back in with that same M433 and dip into Creation and Muse and just work with it, um, blowing it out using that same clean fluffy brush to blow out the bottom look. Then using the M506 from Morphe, I'm dipping into Muse and Icon and working out that lower lash line to really smoke it out. In Physicians Formula Bronze Booster and Ingold Brush, I'm going to bronze up my forehead, my cheeks, my jawline, and my neck. Now for the nose contour, I wanted to not edit this out because I wanted y'all to see that I'm growing and I wanted y'all to grow with me. I'm not gonna make my nose as bulbous next time, but it used, it helped me a lot to use that same bronzer and then kind of make an outline so I can make the two straight lines to kind of narrow out my uh, bridge of my nose. It takes a minute, it's a process guys, but I wanted y'all to see how I do it. And then afterwards, I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. Using the L'Oreal Baby Blossom Blush and just putting that on the apples of my cheeks and over the nose contour because I felt like it just kind of deepened it and made it look a little bit better. And then going over that with my Wet Beauty Blender or Damp to kind of even it out. Max Strobe Cream for the highlight. I like to use a cream highlight under the powder because I feel like it just kind of intensifies it and it makes it stick a little bit better instead of falling out. Putting it on my cheekbones, my nose, and my chin where I highlighted. You can kind of see where I mapped out where the highlight should be. Going over that with my favorite highlight ever, Artist Couture Coco Bling. If you don't have this, what is life? I mean, honestly, you need this. Cleaning up my contour using this same L'Oreal True Match Powder. I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender to kind of carve out my cheeks. Where they're gonna Set it with our NYX Matte Setting Spray since we've been working with powders and really make sure it dries so it can lock into place. Curling the lashes, getting them ready for the falsies, I'm going to be using Ardell's Demi Wispies. For my lips, I'm using ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in Boys Town and then going over that with the NYX Lingerie matte lip in lace detail going over my lip liner and kind of pulling it down so it can all blend together and then going over my lashes with the cover girls lash big lash big shot mascara tops and bottoms and then going to complete this look i hope you guys liked it thank you for watching Mwah.